Welcome, folks, to episode 17 of The Long Dark, A Noob's Journey. We are here in the trailer, and if you watched the last episode, I found the bear that I shot and actually quartered the meat, got to hide in the guts, and came back to the trailer. I carried two bags of meat and I left them outside the trailer and I went to bed. When I woke up the next morning, I had the hide and the guts and I went back to where I left the rest of the meat for the bear and it was gone. When I came back here to the trailer, I realized that the two bags of meat I carried with me were also gone. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if it had been uh, too long since the bear had died and everything despawned. Maybe I did needed to cut the meat up. I have no clue. I was going to research that today, but uh, I was pretty busy and was unable to. And I have to get up early in the morning to go to work. So I will probably do some research tomorrow after I get home and try to figure out why that happened. I did get the uh, hide and I got the guts so I guess I will have to just go with that and I'm gonna check my water I'll go ahead and pick that up and go out here and I'm going to check and see what the weather is like I did do a little mapping in the last episode and I found a cave that led to the Hushed River Valley. And I have watched a playthrough of that and I know it is a difficult map. So I don't think I'm ready for that yet. So I believe what we will do is get these hides back. Because I have a, I now have a bear hide, I've got another wolf hide, and I've got a deer hide, and a lot of guts. So I believe what I will do is I'm going to leave the guts here, and let them cure, but I will carry the hide back, because I do have a lot of guts at my base. So it looks like it's going to be a pretty good storm coming out. I'm not sure if I want to go ahead and travel. Let me look at my meats or my food situation. I do not have a lot of food. I would have had two bags of bear here that I could cook up, but it disappeared. So I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and chance it and take my hides back and check on my wolf skins and see if I have enough to make a wolf skin coat yet. See if they have, I do know I have enough, but to see if they have cured enough so that I could make it. And I'm going to drop that gut back down. I did get a lot of guts from the bear and I have a lot of guts from the deer and the wolf. So once they cure, which is 25% cured, 92% cured. I think the wind just died down. So let's go out here and take a look again. Regardless, I'm going to have to start heading back. So I do have an, another place to explore on here. And it's where I saw the two ropes going down past the farmhouse. 
you have that large area out there. It looks like a, a lake or a river. So I do want to check that area out and map it. Make sure I don't have any of our little four-legged friends running around here. Because I have not had good luck with... I've actually had good luck with killing wolves. And it was my understanding that if you killed a wolf in an area, it would not respawn for a few days. But it seems like as I'm killing the wolves, they're respawning, they are coming back the next day. It might be different wolves, and they're just moving into that area. So I'm not really sure. As I said, I'm fairly new at the game. I did do, I told you in last episodes, that I did play one playthrough. And just to get used to the buttons and the controls and figure out how to do things. Because I didn't want to die in the first couple of hours of the game. I ended up surviving pretty good. And since I didn't record any of those videos, I decided that I would start all over again and visit all the places that I hadn't seen. Which this was one of them. I have watched other people play game throughs, so I am kind of familiar with the areas. And as I've said before, Playing a game and watching somebody play a game are two entirely different things. I was just looking at that over there. Wondering if that was a wolf, but it's not moving, so it must be a stump. Here, that's a wolf right there. Whoa. Walking right there goes a wolf. So, ooh, and I hear at least two more out that way. Check on cattails. I think I got all of the cattails here. I don't know how long it takes for cattails to respawn. Uh, I did hear somebody say that they would respawn once you left the region for a couple of days and came back, but I don't know if that's true. Take a look and see if we see that wolf. When we came this way, we came across a bridge and we we're heading up here because I was going to look for the bear that I shot. Uh, we did run into a wolf. I hid, oh, there he is. I hid from it because it was chasing a deer over across the bridge. I'm just going to give it a second and see what his path is. See how far he comes up and see if, how far he goes back. goes. So the temperature feels like 41. So we're squatted down here. So it should make it a little bit harder for him to see me. What I want to see is oh, here. Wow. Whoa, 
wait a minute. Why is my rifle not loaded? Made another noob mistake. I switched out my rifle. He is right there. Well, he's there. I'm going to try to slip around this way. But I got to keep a watch on him. I don't know where he's going to go. Looks like he's going up that way. Crosses beyond that tree. Crosses past that tree there, then I'm going to head down this way. It looks like he is. Down here. So I think this is a good vantage point here. Go ahead and drop one of those. That way I get my little white dot scope here. It's floating in the air. Make sure I'm high enough to get the dot. And we're going to see if he will walk back this way. I am still warm, so I don't have to worry about shivering throwing my aim off. Okay, he sees a deer. Really not running for it. But he is going way out of my way. So I can continue on. Let him follow the deer on up. I was watching a little bit last night as I was downloading a video uh, so that I could upload it to YouTube. I was watching uh, My Usual Me and I didn't know you could do this but he has two wolf coats. And I believe I am pretty close to having enough to do two wolf coats. And right now I'll be satisfied with one. But that's something I can try in the future. Watch out here. Something else I would like to get. I think I've already checked that. Uh, check that corpse. Is I'd like to get a boat. My maple and birch saplings should be dried out enough that I can make me a bow because I want to practice with it. If you play the standard I thought I saw something. The stone. Right over there. Uh, if you play the standard interloper mode don't get guns. You can make a bow. And you can use a bow and arrows. And I would like to get used to using a bow and arrow. Because uh, eventually I want to try the... I want to try that bow. So 
All of this is raw. Right now I want to get my bear and my wolf skins and my deer skin. Get those out. I also have enough to make uh, deer skin pants. So that should be pretty close to being cured. Yep, one, two, three, four. So four deer skins cured. One, two, uh, almost on that one. That one's getting close, and that one is still going. So let me go ahead and drop this. Drop the wolf there. That's sixty-six percent. And let's go ahead and drop this deer here. Oh, what was that? One? That was a deer. And this is oh the black bear hide. Ooh, gotta get that down. So the black bear hide, I'm gonna drop over here. that is 11% cured. I'm going to need one more black bear hide. And if you're just joining the channel, I've got a collection going of weapons and knives and stuff because eventually I'm going to run out of cleaning kits and I'm going to run out of whetstones. So I'm not going to be able to sharpen stuff and I want to gather them up so that I have them. Alright, so let's see what we can make. So we'll go down here to clothing. So deer skin boots, two cured deer hides, and four guts. Pants, three hides, and four guts. So that would be seven hides. No. Five hides and eight guts. For my wolfskin coat, four hides, and four guts. So I'm going to need, was that, 12 guts? Rabbit skin. Need one more gut for that. And three cured rabbits. So how are my rabbits doing? Cured, 91, and cured. So we have a lot of the stuff we need. I think I have at least 12 guts here. And let's go ahead and stack these up. That one's cured. That one's cured. That one is not. Those need to be cured. So my cured wolf I'm going to put over here. So I need the other two to cure to get those. And I'm going to need four cured guts. And I'm going to put them over here. So I have what I uh, have what I need. I'm just waiting on this to cure and this one to cure. Cure deer hides. Two. Three for my pants. And I'm going to need four guts. Sure, correct. 
Yeah, it was just different. Uh, so, my rabbit skins for my hat. Well, I'll go ahead and pick it up. It's at 91. Another day we'll fix that. And four for that. Yeah, I saw one of those guts was down to 80%. So I definitely want to start uh, making some clothing. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. So I have six cured guts left. I have enough cured guts to do all of that. Now for my bear skin, I know I'm going to need another bear. Maybe two. Uh, bear skin coat. I don't think I'm going to do the cloak. I think I wanted to do. Let's go down here. Bear skin bedroll. So I need six cured guts and another cured black bear. And I think I want to still add two more cured deer hides. One is almost cured. So what can I do with two deer hides? Also with that, if with four more guts, I can make the boots also. It's 45, 36, and 50. So how does that compare to what I have? 45, 35, and 50. It's a little bit less on the temperature, but more wind resistance. So that might make up for it. Plus, I believe it is lighter. 4.4 pounds? Maybe not. 3.3 pounds. So to add 1.4 one pounds to my overall weight. I really don't know if that would even be worth it. Look at the work pants. So 2.5, 1.3. Your pants, two more. Oh yeah, that's definite. With one more deer hide, I can make another pair of pants. And I think that's what I will probably do. I have... I think I took everything from the farmhouse down there and brought it up here. So I think these are the only hides I have unless I go back to Mystery Lake. I am pretty sure that I have some hides back there. And I don't really want to... Well, I might want to go to Mystery Lake. And then go to... I think it's Pleasant Valley. Or Coastal Highway. I still have two maps that I haven't looked for... Or that I haven't looked through here. Uh, Broken Railroad and Hudson River Valley. And the Forlorn Muskeg. And I do believe I will might just hold off on those 
and actually go to Pleasant Valley next. Which is really not all that pleasant from what I've heard. The weather's much harsher. And wolves are plentiful. But I don't believe I'm going to leave until... I make some of this clothing. So with my deerskin pants, it'll be ooh, 25 hours. So that's two days. Rabbit skin hat, seven hours. That's another day. Wolf skin coat, 25 hours. So I'm looking at at least five more days. And I don't have to do them all here. I could do some of it here and head back to Mystery Lake. And finish it up there. But I've already been to Mystery Lake. I like to go someplace different. Uh, I did print out a map and I have it hanging on my wall above my television. And I can actually see the world so I know what connects to what. And studying the map and studying my map that I've been making on the game, I believe if I go down to where all that ice and water and stuff was down there that it will lead me to the forlorn muskeg which I haven't been to and we can check that out and maybe go on to the broken railroad uh, the broken railroads interesting to me because it has a hunting lodge and I would like to see what I can find at the hunting lodge but before I do that, I believe the rabbit skin hat and the deer skin pants are something that I need to invest in. Yeah, that would be three days. So that one has cured while I was talking, which is a good thing. Pick that up. Come here and drop it. That way it stacks. If you just pick it up and move it, it doesn't stack. So I'm waiting on that one to cure. These two are much fresher. And it's going to be a while for this, plus I need another one. I don't think you can make anything with one black bear. Let's take a look. Now, I did watch a playthrough where somebody was looking for... It was last night I was watching it. Uh, they okay. went to the Hush okay. River Valley, and they were looking for a moose hide satchel that's near a mysterious campfire. Uh, but they couldn't find it. That might be interesting to see if I could find it. Because the playthrough that I was watching, uh, the person was went into an ice cave. And they thought that the ice cave didn't go anywhere, but I actually thought I saw another way out of there. And it's kind of bugging me, wanting to know if that actually was another way out. Like I said, I am not ready for Hushed River Valley. And looking at my food here to see what I have. Okay, so I have 10 cups of coffee plus 4 cups. I really want to go to Hush River Valley. And. Being a noob, I will probably talk myself into it at some point. So, are these, have these cured? Cured? Nope. We got one that hasn't cured. 94%. So, I believe what I'm going to do now, and uh, it's, we're halfway through the day, I'm going to cook. There is not a workbench here, is there? 
don't think so. I don't see a door leading out of here. So I don't believe there's a basement. There is a workbench over by the uh, in the gas station. I thought. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe the only workbench is over at the farmhouse. But that's all outside work. So I will have to have a lot of firewood. Uh, so I think what I'm going to do... How much firewood do I have here? Uh, three pieces. I am going to need some more firewood because I want to cook up some of that meat that's out there. Get a drink. And make some more water so I don't have to stop and do that. almost got four gallons but I don't think it hurt to cook that wolf or cook that meat up outside and go ahead and make a batch of water so let me make sure I'm not getting cabin fever nope no risk of it and then I can take my supplies to the farmhouse and do some cooking No chairs up here. So I may have to go outside and gather some wood for now. Get that out. And who knows, maybe a wolf will jump me and I'll add another one to my collection. I have gotten really lucky with the wolves. Uh, I've not been trying to fight them head on. I've been ambushing them. And right now that seems to be the way to go. we can go for some firewood. I could tear up that chair. I don't know, that kind of looks pretty cool having a chair sitting on the porch. A rocking chair. Normally on my porch I have two rocking chairs. Because I've got a really old house. My house was built in 1880. I am remodeling it. Basically payday to payday. It's coming along pretty good, but I like an old house with rocking chairs on the front porch. Uh, this spring I'm going to reinforce the porch ceiling and put up a swing. Okay, I see no wolves. But I also don't see any... Oh, over there, some tree limbs. So, I didn't really look over here to see if there were any. Nope, so it looks like I have to go over here to collect some firewood. I have learned to hate this area right here. I've been jumped by wolves twice in this area. Wait, there were some... Weren't there some crates around here somewhere? Oh, tree stump. What if, yep, they're still there. So I'd never seen glasses in the game before. Uh, I 
thought that was pretty wild. Oh, those, those are old shoes. I don't know if any of y'all have ever played this game and you found glasses before, let me know in the comments. Oh, there's wood. And coal. That'll work. Okay, I just noticed that I am getting hungry. So, let's give it a chance. Excellent. Did not make me sick. It's a branch. I don't need branches, I need limbs. That gives me the firewood. Branches give you sticks. Oh, one other thing I have not done yet, I have not mapped the town. So I'm going to step up here and actually do that. Make sure nobody's watching me. go. With the uh, wood I have here and the wood I have in the house, I have enough to cook this meat up. Or at least some of it. Make me some water. Maybe even do a little reading. And then I think I'll go to bed here in a bit and start in the morning taking some of my stuff over to the farmhouse so that I can do some crafting. I have plenty of books. Actually, I actually have three now. But I think there's a lot more in the house here that I just didn't, never picked up. Put that away. And I still want to try the magnifying glass. I have not used that yet. I didn't pick up sticks. Do I have sticks? Nope, no sticks. Alright, I need sticks. Okay, so I have made an executive decision. My channel, my risk, I am going to make the rabbit skin hat and the wolf coat and then I'm going to hush back. Hush the river back. That is a place that I have not seen. I've seen uh, one person play through it a little bit. Uh, the only time I have actually been there was in, I think, the last episode or episode before that, where I actually went through the tunnel and found out that that tunnel led to the Hush River Valley. So 
I think that's where I'm going to go. A lot of stink lines. But I will take care of that in a moment. So let's get a fire going. And now I'm excited. Uh, it sucks that I have to... Oh, I don't have anything. Let me pack it up and look at my books. So the guns is the one that I have not read yet. I'm going to go, since I have books and I can get books, I'm going to go ahead and use a book. No fooling around, because I want to get this uh, coat made, I want to get the hat made, and I want to get out of here. I have a rambling spirit, and I want to see what else is out there. Two hours. Three hours. And I can always collect more wood. So it gives me five hours and eight minutes. Uh, first thing I want to do... Is clear my work area. Because I still have 25... 20 some hours of the... Guns book. Read. And let's see, two point two. Go away. One oh six. Point two. Two point two. Two point two. And 2.2. So while that's cooking up, I'm going to read for an hour. And 16 minutes, that was a small one. have the fire. Go ahead and make some water. Forty three minutes, so if I read for an oh one no, 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 deep. And we'll go ahead and eat that one. Forty minutes. I'm gonna risk it. Read one more hour. Don't think it should burn in that time. Oh, good to go. Forty-three minutes until boiled. Perfect. 
And still have an hour. 30 minutes. What do I have as far as torches? Walk with this much gear. 39%. Torch. That's a good one. Another torch. Decent one. And our uh, angle a little bit. Take another torch. Eh, not so good, but it's doable. So get closer at an angle. That one's a pretty good one something I pulled out of fire and wrong button. so let's go down and we will get rid of some of the water we will do 2.11 gallons Slip out here and drop off some of the meat. I really need a cleaning kit. I don't know what I do with my cleaning kits. I might have, I knew I brought one with me, and I may have left it down at the uh, gas station convenience store. Getting a little dark now. Food. Got all of that. So what I might do is first thing in the morning, go down there, see if my cleaning kits are down there. And then come back, load up all my stuff, and head out to the farmhouse. I will have to get I will have to get my sewing kits. I can't forget that. I think you need sewing kits. So I'm actually not that tired. So since I'm not that tired, I am at 72 pounds. What I might do is just go... Hey, I think I am. I'm just going to go ahead and go down to the... I get out of here. Oh, I am out the door. Okay. Go this way. There we go. Is what I might do. What kind of food do I have? Let's pick up another piece of meat. Go on down there and sleep down there tonight. That will tire me out a little bit. Get a full night's sleep. There we go. And then from there, I can come back and collect my stuff and go to the farmhouse. And we're going to make a wolfskin coat. And by then, all the pelts should be ready. So it's still a lot of daylight. Yeah, I don't want to go down there. Oh, I need a piece of meat. I'm not sure if I left any meat down there or not. Mm, let's go ahead and go this way.
That way we can stay a little bit to some high ground. At least there are some wolves out here. I don't see anything. Oh, yes I do. Okay, do you see him right there? I was going to go up this way, and I think there's a way to get through this rock here. And he doesn't look like he's going very far. He's not. He's just pacing back and forth right there. So let's see if he makes a return trip. get the rifle out. In case he pops around this truck here. Comes down that road. I think I have a good vantage point. Nope, he's right over there. I don't feel like fooling with him. It's getting dark. I'm just going to get close up here and fire off around. Get out of here. My aim sucks. And I don't hear him yelping. Which means he may be coming back this way. back up here. So let's do this the right way and I will drop a cup of coffee. Hopefully it didn't dump out. And we'll see if he comes back. Then reload. As I told you before, I am not a person that plays the first-person shooter games a lot. I don't have the dexterity or the speed or accuracy for that kind of stuff. I love watching PUBG. I can't play it. Because I'm not fast enough.
so I tend to play a little bit slower. I need something I can slowly aim at. And if he comes back over here where he was walking, that is okay by me. So I have a smaller target here. Got him. I think I leveled up again on my rifle. Yes, three on firearm skill. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to go ahead and I'm going to harvest him. See how long it takes since he is not frozen. One hour and 18 minutes. Go ahead and do it. And then I am going to leave the hide and the guts. And the meat. Until I come back through here in the morning. And that puts me at no stink lines. Okay, because I, well, I came up along this way on one of the episodes and I saw trees through here. And I think this leads to that little valley down there. And I don't have to go over where the logs are. Let me if I can get down here. And it leads to the gas station with less of an opportunity to run into a wolf. Okay, there's the gas station. Unless the wolves are at the gas station. Better reload. Plus, I want to check and see if there was a workbench here. I don't remember. If there's a workbench here, then this is where I will uh, do my work. Ah. Uh, okay. And. Oh, I left Lantern. Oh, and there's no fuel in it. Dang it. Do I have fuel? Nope, no fuel. Uh, okay, so let's just use a torch. Which means I wasted a match. Drop that storm ladder. Nope, no workbench. Oh, that sucks. Okay, but I do want to check. Oh, I left a knife. 
left egg. That's empty. I thought I might have left my gun cleaning kits here. Okay, I did leave matches there, but no gun cleaning kits. So, I'm going to go ahead and take that. And I'm going to eat some meat. Here, put that out. Put it away. I'm going to eat my dinner, drink some water, and I'm tired enough to where I can sleep through the night, and wake up in the morning, and it will be daylight, starting to warm up, and what we're going to do is go back to the house, I'm going to pick up all the stuff I need to do my wolfskin coat, and my rabbit hat. And we're heading to the farm, and I'm going to do some crafting. So, if you liked the video, hit like. If you didn't like it, hit don't like. Uh, if you do have comments, it'll help me do better on this channel. I am open to comments. Or if you saw something that I didn't see, or think of something else that I can do, other than go to Hudson River Valley. But I think I want to try there, and then go down to Broken Railroad. Before I hit the areas that are up north. So as always, uh, have a good one.